Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and another what I eat in a day. For those of you that are new, I lost 50 pounds and I've been able to keep the weight off with smarter, healthier meal options and a better lifestyle. I do have an entire playlist dedicated to a bunch of meal ideas if you're interested, so be sure to check those out. Good morning. So let's start off with breakfast. Today's breakfast is honestly just a very simple go-to breakfast for me. It's nothing fancy. I always start off with my ice water, of course. So I refill that in the morning when I first wake up and then I'll start off with a coffee. I go back and forth between a hot coffee or a cold or iced coffee. Today I'm gonna go with my Skinny Vanilla Latte. This is the Starbucks brand. Normally I'll fill this pretty much to the top but this is the rest of my container. That's why I don't fill the cup all the way. And I'm gonna top it off with just a little bit of my oat milk brown sugar flavored creamer, just to sweeten it up a bit more. The Skinny Vanilla Latte is sweetened on its own already, so you might not even wanna use the creamer. It's just up to you and your preference. Some days I add creamer, other days I don't. Then I'm gonna go with two hard boiled eggs. You guys, if you've seen any of my what I eat in a day, know this has been a go-to for me for so long. They're low calorie, high in protein and calcium. It's just so convenient, quick, easy, perfect for at home or on the go. And there's a bunch of ways that you can jazz it up so it's not boring. Today, I'm gonna go with my everything but the bagel seasoning. A bunch of different brands sell this, so I'll link everything down below if you guys wanna pick anything up. I had actually shown this last week on my Instagram and a bunch of you were sending me messages wanting to know more about it. So today I'm gonna to show you exactly that. It's so good and really easy to make. Because this takes a little bit of time, I'm first going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Then I'm going to prepare my ingredients. You're gonna first cut up two garlic cloves, two green onion, separating the green and the white portions and cut up your broccoli into smaller bite-sized pieces. For those of you that aren't a big tofu fan, you can also easily make this with cut up steak or chicken or even salmon. You can definitely change up your protein to whatever fits your taste preference. But again, I was very impressed with how well this turned out with the tofu. So I encourage you to give it a try if you've never had it before. Then you're going to line a paper towel and cut up the tofu into small cubes. Then top this off with a paper towel just to soak up and remove all the excess moisture and then place the tofu in a mixing bowl, combining three to four ounces of garlic sesame sauce. Toss the tofu in with the sauce and marinate this for at least 10 minutes. Now we're ready to cook our rice. So I'm gonna bring a small pot of one cup water and about half a cup of rice. You're going to boil this and then reduce to a simmer. Cover and cook until the rice is tender, so for about 15 minutes, give or take. Once this is cooked, you can just remove it from the burner and set it aside. Moving on to the tofu. Again, after this marinates, you can just transfer this to a baking sheet. Spreading these out like little bits of cookie dough. You just wanna make sure that they're all one single layer spread across. Then you're going to roast in the oven until the tofu edges begin to brown. So for about 25 to 30 minutes. And I recommend flipping them halfway through. So roast for about 15, flip them over, and then roast again for another 15. While your tofu is roasting, you can then move on to your broccoli. So I'm just gonna place the broccoli into a medium nonstick pan over medium heat with about a teaspoon of olive oil, adding in my broccoli and white portions of the green onion, one fourth cup water and garlic. Then cover all this together and cook until the water is almost completely evaporated, so for about five minutes. Then you can just uncover it and stir occasionally, making sure it's all tender for about another two minutes and remove this from the burner. Now everything's ready to plate, so you're just going to top off your rice with the broccoli, tofu, and green portions of the onion. I also added about a teaspoon of sesame seeds and then finished with a little bit more sauce using about two more tablespoons of the garlic sesame sauce and about one teaspoon of the cymbal to give it a little extra spice, but depending on your preference with spice, you can add more or less. Then it's ready to enjoy. This meal is a great option for lunch or dinner. So moving on to today's dinner, this is another really quick, easy option. I'm first going to preheat my oven to 425. Then in a baking sheet, combine about four ounces of grape tomatoes, about eight ounces of sliced zucchini. You can cut this up yourself or buy a pre-cut package, whatever you prefer or have on hand. Then about half a teaspoon of garlic salt and about a teaspoon of olive oil. You're gonna mix this all together and push it to one side of the baking sheet. Then top these off with about an ounce of grated Parmesan and two to three tablespoons of Italian panko. Now on the other side of the baking sheet, you can add your chicken, or if you prefer, you could also do this with pork chops. So add your chicken to the empty side of the tray and you're going to top these evenly with a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of Parmesan cheese, about an ounce of shredded cheddar cheese, one ounce of garlic and herb cheese spread, 
Then add your uncovered baking pan to the oven for about 25 minutes. Just making sure that your chicken reaches an internal temperature of 165 degrees to ensure it's fully cooked. Then plate this, topping the chicken with about half an ounce of crispy fried onions. Dinner is served. Super easy, really quick. It only takes about 30 minutes, plus a couple minutes to prep, but this is a great low carb, high protein meal that's really tasty and filling. So that's everything for today's What I Eat in a Day video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to make sure you're still subscribed to my channel and that you're following me on Instagram for more day-to-day -day updates. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.